A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high yo silver. The Lone Ranger. In the early days of the western United States, there appeared the most spectacular outlaw the border country had ever known. Wearing a black mask and cape and riding the midnight stallion known as El Diablo, he called himself the Black Caballero. It was inevitable that he and the Lone Ranger should meet, and that meeting led to one of the most exciting episodes in the history of the frontier. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young and adventure lay at the end of every trail. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Phil! We're on the trail of the Black Caballero. I owe silver away. When the Black Caballero struck, it was with the blinding speed of lightning. He mocked both the law and those settlers who lived within the law. Within a month of his first appearance, his name had become a dreaded byword. And it seemed that after a hold-up or a bank robbery, he disappeared as if by magic. Your gold, my friend. Who, what? <laughs> the Black Caballero. Uh, thank you. My best regards. My gold. And the other. And the other. Black Caballero. There he goes. That's him. You can't catch that horse ahead. Another blast and hold up. Oh, 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 oh. Boss, where you been? The boys have been worried. Enough. Yeah. Kirk. What is it, boss? Take El Diablo. Attend to him. He's, he's probably rubbed down. You bet. Right away. Now, Come look on, here, boss. Boy. You can't always be riding alone like this. They'll all catch you for sure one of these days. <laughs> what do you got us for if we ain't to take a hand once in a while? Yeah, the fools. Huh? Now, boss, maybe us fellows ain't as handy as you are, but... <laughs> I'm sorry, Hawk. I didn't mean the men in camp here. Oh, then who did you mean? The law, Hawk, the law. And the fools who stay inside the law. <laughs> Children, all of them. Hawk, do you know when I decided to become the Black Caballero, I really expected some sport out of it, huh? I ain't just sure I said it. <laughs> no, I don't suppose you would. Heads up, men! Yeah. Hey, that's a leather poke you got there. What's in it, huh? <laughs> Gold, Hawk. Gold. <laughs> Where'd you get it, boss? <laughs> it was given to me, my friend. I showed my guns to a gentleman loaded down with more cash than was good for him. <laughs> and he generously shared what he carried. <laughs> shared? Well, uh, perhaps he, uh, he didn't keep anything for himself. But ain't you keeping some? <laughs> you ain't just handing all of it over to the boys, are you? That's what you don't understand, Hawk. It isn't gold I want. It's excitement. Doggone if I ever met up with a fella like you before. Excitement. 
The thrill of being pursued by men willing to kill you if they can. The risk, the danger, the escape. The price on your head. You can have them. Uh, and that's just it. There's a price on my head, see? With the excitement, the danger. <sighs> For all of that, I guess there might as well be a fat banker sitting safely in his office. You mean to say you didn't get no thrill the time that stage guard on the Whitfield run blazed away at you with his rifle? <laughs> He missed, didn't he? Yeah, but how about the other week when that U.S. Marshal and them ranchers come near the corner and you're down in the canyon? If that had been me, I'd have been shaken yet. And I got away by using a simple trick. I tell you, Hawk, if your opponents are fools, there's no fun in the game. <laughs> and it's the gosh, boys. I'm here to say you even got that other mask fella beat. I've heard some mighty tall tales about the Lone Ranger, but you've got... Say that again. Well, I just said even the Lone Ranger the can't... The Lone Ranger? Hey, what's got into you? <laughs> Hawk, I think you've given me an idea. Huh? Why in the name of heaven didn't I think of it before? I've been matching myself against children, Hawk. But I believe I see a way to put excitement into the game yet. Have you gone clean off your head? <laughs> the Lone Ranger, my friend. The Lone Ranger. It was not long before the Lone Ranger heard the many stories concerning the Black Caballero, the mysterious outlaw's activities centered in the district surrounding White Springs, and it was here that the masked man rode to get information one evening. The Lone Ranger, cleverly disguised, was talking with a group of men in White Springs Cafe, and... Uh, Where was the Black Caballero seen last? Last? Well, you'd better ask my deputy that. I got him working special on the job of finding that hombre. That's all he's got to do, just locate that fancy dressing outlaw. Please, come here. Yeah, Sheriff. The stranger here was wondering why the back caballero was seen last time. Over near Whitfield, last word I got. Why, hold you up too, stranger? No, not yet. <laughs> well, if you're in the habit of carrying much cash on you, mister, he will one these days, you can be sure of that. How he finds out things, I don't know. It seems as if he can smell out cash the way a wolf can get wind of a calf. Talking about that black caballero, fellas. Oh, howdy, man. Howdy, Sheriff. Howdy, Blaze. Evening. Stranger Matt here is one of the fellows who was robbed by that crook. Recently? About two weeks ago. Rode up as bold as you please and I was almost to town. Stuck them guns of his in my face and just helped himself. Not only helped himself, Dad ran him, but laughed about it while he was doing it. That's just like I said before. Like I'll say again, there ain't but one fellow in the West can catch that crook, and that's the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? Sure, he... Oh, you're crazy. You're always bragging up that fellow you call the Lone Ranger, Matt. But I'm here to say he wouldn't have no more chance of getting the black caballero than, well, than you would. Blasted he would, too. How? Oh, you ever seen that El Diablo horse? Of course I have. You see him run? I've seen him the time I was robbed, didn't I? All right, then. How's a lone ranger ever going to catch a fellow with a horse like that? What about the horse a lone ranger rides? Uh, what's his name? Silver? Yeah, that's it, Silver. I've heard he's something extra special in the way a horse flesh yourself. You just bet he is. I'd like to see him race. Yes. And if they did, I'd lay a year's wages on El Diablo. There ain't a horse in the country could match him. You take my word for it. Shucks, it just couldn't be. Ah, you're just bullheaded. Yeah, and you're just a stubborn, feeble-minded galoot that wouldn't be willing to admit you was wrong what? even if it was proved to you in right. Why, you... Yeah, no. <laughs> hey, quit the fighting. What's your opinion about it, stranger? I couldn't say. I've got an idea, though. Yeah? What's that? I've got an idea that one of these days the race Blaze asked for might be arranged. Ah, not a chance. You mark my words. The Lone Ranger will steer clear of the Black Caballero like it was poison. Hey, and what's more what's is that? that? Some kind of a fuss. Come on. They're sure enough yelling. Where's the trouble? Oh, the There he goes. The Black Caballero. I bless that hombre, sir. Blaze, he's your job. Pick up Steve and Rusty and get after that fellow. Right. He was over to your office, Sheriff. He didn't go inside, though. Oh. Just nailed something to the door and then cleared out. Sheriff, what do you figure he was doing here? Nailed something to the door of my office, you see? That's right, Sheriff. I seen him with my own eyes. Come on, I'll find out about this. Is that your office, Sheriff? Yeah, just across the street there. He couldn't have come here to hold anybody up. There's no telling what that hombre's up to. Yep, there's a paper on the door, all right. A message of some sort, probably. Yeah. Let me read it. Stand back, will right. you, folks? Give me room to see what this is about. Writes as fancy as he dresses, don't he? Huh? Is it important, Sheriff? Oh, wait a second. Well, I'll be switched. What is the ornery, conceited, no good coyote? I'll <laughs> fix him for this. 
If I ever catch up to that fellow, I'll ram this right down his throat. That's Read what. it to it, Sheriff. What's it say? Can't you tell us what's written there, sir? Go on, let us in on it. Well, I'll tell you what he said. Just listen to this. He says that one week from today, he's robbing Jason Lovejoy's bank over to River City. And he says he's not only inviting the law, but he's daring the Lone Ranger to try to stop him. Well, did you ever hear of such nerve? He must be local. Uh, most likely he's just bluffing. Chuck, she'd never get away with a stunt like that after giving warning. What do you make of it, stranger? Just one thing, Sheriff. If the Black Caballero wants the Lone Ranger to be at River City, I, I think he will be. Returning to the place where he had hidden his horse, the Lone Ranger mounted and raced back to the camp where his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, was waiting. There he drew Silver to a halt. Oh, Silver. Oh, fellow. Oh, boy. Tonto, I've seen the black caballero. Uh, what's him look like? Just the way he's been described to us, Kimasabi. And that horse of his is magnificent. Oh, uh, him not better than Silver. Someday we'll prove he's not, Tonto. I couldn't give chase this time, however, because I left Silver too far outside town. If I'd gone after him, the black caballero would have been gone. Uh, and he left a message for me, Tonto. What's that? He wrote that a week from today, he planned to rob the bank at River City. That's a town near the west border of this county. Mm -hmm. His message stated that he dared either the law or the Lone Ranger to prevent the holdup. Why him do that? It could be a trick, Kimasabi. He might plan to get us safely in River City, then strike somewhere else. That's right. And yet I doubt it. I think the black caballero meant just what he said. And then him loco. I wonder if he is. What do you think? We've heard all kinds of stories about the man, Tonto. He made one daring raid after another. He's tricked the law in a dozen ways. Each time he gets bolder. And each time he seems to escape as easily as before. Oh. He isn't an ordinary outlaw. They say more than once he risked his life in a robbery, and then threw away the loot without needing to. Me hear that. He seems to get pleasure from the risk he runs, not from what he steals. They say he always laughs just when things look worse for him. Oh. He's an outlaw and should pay for his crimes. But in some ways, he forces you to admire him. Whatever else he may lack, he doesn't want for courage. Him, he brave. That's why I say the message he left in town meant just what it told us. Now, to help me over this disguise, then get my mask from your saddle pouch. And then what you do? I'm going to show the black caballero that the Lone Ranger accepts his challenge. Later that same evening, the sheriff and his chief deputy, Blaze McGee, were also discussing the Black Caballero's reckless challenge. Blaze had led the pursuit of the outlaw when he sped from town, but had been forced to return and confess another failure. The two men are in the sheriff's office and... Uh... Don't you see it, Sheriff? That doggone outlaw's got us over a barrel. Confound it. I savvy that as well as you do. If we don't budge and he robs a bank, it'll be said that we ain't doing our duty even when it's pointed out to us. There's always enough loose talk of that kind going around. Then, like you said, if we do go over to River City, the Black Caballero is likely to come riding into White Springs here. And folks will say it was because you went traipsing across country when we ought to have been here tending to business. We can't be in more than one place at a time. But maybe I know a way to handle this, Sheriff. Blaze, if you do, I'll see that the county raises your wages. How about letting me swear in a dozen or so extra deputies? I'll get the toughest hombres around here that I can find. Yeah, what then? And you and me will go to River City with them and guard the bank. Stephen Rusty can deputize some fellas to help them out here. By golly, Blaze, I think that'll turn the trick. That black caballero won't get far with the fellas I choose. Then you can... What's that, somebody coming here? I don't know, but... What in blazes? Who's there? Who hammered on the door? That wasn't just somebody wanting me. Come on, Silver! Yes, and he called his horse Silver. Hello, Silver! Sheriff! Hey, look here. Look what's been put on the door. Right in the spot where the black caballero left that paper. Well, tan my hide. Read that, Blaze. The Lone Ranger has took the black caballero's dare. He's gonna be at River City. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The mysterious outlaw, the Black Caballero, had challenged the Lone Ranger to be present when the outlaw attempted to rob the bank at River City, and the masked rider of justice had accepted the challenge. When news of the coming contest between the two men became generally known, the interest of the people in the district was heightened to fever pitch. Wherever men gathered, and women too, the subject was excitedly discussed. The Lone Ranger and the Black Caballero. Which of them is going to win out? I'm saying it'll be the Lone Ranger. Oh, no, it's going to be the Black Caballero. Oh, I wouldn't know which one to pin up. Well, we'll know in just a few days now, anyhow. While in the camp of the mysterious outlaw, even the men who had banded together to follow his leadership did not know what the black caballero had in mind. Boss, you're just inviting trouble. You can't get away with it. You just can't. <laughs> Have no fear, my friend. I've laid my plans, and when I'm ready, you shall know them. <laughs> I shall be the first to ever challenge the Lone Ranger and won. <laughs> And during the days intervening between the time of the challenge and the date set for the raid upon the bank, the Lone Ranger was not idle. He and Tonto had studied River City, its bank, its approaches, and the country surrounding the town. Before dawn on the day appointed, they knew the district more thoroughly than did its inhabitants who had lived there all their lives. The sun had just pushed its tip above the horizon when the masked man and the faithful Indian reined in at a spot close to River City, which they had chosen beforehand. Oh, Silver. Oh, oh fella. Oh, Scott. Oh, oh. oh. It'll soon be daylight, Kimasabi. Uh, there. There, sun. And as soon as the sun is up, we'll be able to see everything that goes on below us. Uh, That's why I chose the top of this hill. Look, you can see River City's main street already. A little more light and we'll be able to make out the bank. That's right. Over there's the trail leading from River City to White Springs. There's a the trail to Whitfield. Now, the person can enter town or leave it without our seeing him. Uh, Even if the black caballero made a break from those woods beyond the town, we'd know it. Now, watch carefully, Kimasabi. Nothing must happen below us that we don't see. While they watched, they saw Sheriff Ramsey and the deputy Blaze McGee enter River City by the way of White Springs Trail, a party of a dozen men with them. The day lengthened, still they watched, but they had no way of seeing the group of hard-faced riders who were at that moment approaching not River City, as had been announced, but White Springs, the county seat town, which had been left to the care of the sheriff's other deputies, Steve and Rusty. The leader of the group, as it wound its way down the trail, wore a black mask and a black cape, it was mounted upon a spirited black horse. But when he spoke, his voice was not that of the black caballero. <laughs> anyway, look in this get up, fellas. You think I'll fool him? You don't look no more like the boss than I do. Maybe not, but he seemed to be satisfied. <laughs> Shucks, Dirk. All the folks in town will have to do is get a look at that mask and El Diablo, and they ain't going to stop to ask no questions. They'll be too doggone scared. You do all right, Hawk. Just keep your mouth shut when we get there, like the boss said, and you'll get by. You got that right in the boss give you? Uh-huh. It's here in my pocket. <laughs> hey, till the sheriff sees that. If that don't turn the trick, nothing will. I'm to see that somebody in town gets this note the boss read out and heads for River City and the sheriff, ain't it? Right. Dirk, you'll take three of the boys and head straight for the express office. Don't stop for nothing. I got it. Me and the rest of the bunch will hoop it up down Main Street. The town's folks will get so rattled, they won't savvy what in blazes is going on. What about shooting if anybody gets real rambunctious? You know what the boss said, Ned. Uh, that sounds crazy to me. He does to all the rest of us, too. But he's a boss just the same. If he don't want no killing, then there ain't gonna be none, savvy? Uh, I reckon. You gotta shoot at anybody, be blamed sure you only wing him. And don't forget. Talk, we're almost in town. When are we going into action? Right now. Blaze away in the air, make all the noise you can. When Dirk gives a signal that he's finished at the express office, make tracks for camp. Got it? Yeah. Then unlimber your shooting irons and let's go. On the Avalon!
To the Lone Ranger and Tonto, on top of the hill they had chosen, the day passed slowly. The masked man began to question his tactics, but suddenly he lifted his head and strained to look down the White Springs Trail. Tonto, look there. Uh, rider come. From the direction of White Springs and putting a quirt to his mount. Him ride plenty fast. Tonto, no man would drive a horse like that unless he had good reason. Here's a lookout. We'll cut over to the left and down the hill to the trail. Uh, Steady, boy. Uh, yeah. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. This way, Kimosabe. Tonto, come. Hurry, Silver. Hurry. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. Hold on there. Him not hear you. He will. Come on, old fellow. Rain up there. Pull up your horse. Get up. Get up. I'll fire a shot. He'll hear that. Hold on. Stay where you are. A lone ranger. Oh, oh, there. What's the trouble? Oh, 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 oh. A lone ranger. Well, he tricked you. You hear me? The black cavalier tricked you. He fooled you proper. What's that? And me thinking all the time that you was a match for him. Well, you ain't. While you're wasting your time here, that crook shot up White Springs. And he brought his whole gang along with him this time. No, not bad. Broke in the express office and rode off with all the cash that was to be had. Are you sure of that? Didn't I see him, that black horse of his? Didn't one of them dirty crooks give me this writing from the black cavalier to take to the sheriff? A message to the sheriff? Yes, and I read it. He's laughing at you and the sheriff both. He says just what he thinks of you for falling for an easy trick like the one he just played. Now, I ain't got no more time. I got to get to the sheriff to deliver this writing and see that he heads back to White Springs where he belongs. Go ahead. You bet I will. And from now on, when anybody starts talking about the Lone Ranger, I'm laughing right along with a black caballero. Get up! Get up there! What we do now? Ryan, White Springs? No, Tonto. We're riding, but not to White Springs. We're riding to River City. Come on, Tonto. Get him up, Scott. Oh, Silver! Away! When Matt delivered the message he carried to Sheriff Ramsey, the lawman shouted an exasperated order. Men, get to your horses! Hit leather! That blasted outlaw's trick is for fair! There ain't nothing left to do but head for home and try and pick up his trail. Come on! Oh, no, Sheriff! Oh, wait, listen here. Well, what do you got to say, Blaze? Sheriff, maybe this is a trick, too. What's to stop the Black Caballero from raiding White Springs? See to it, you find out about it, then riding here and robbing the bank after you've gone. Dad, Reddit, what am I gonna do? We gotta do something. If he should be heading back for his hideout, somebody's gotta try and pick up his trail. All right. You go back to White Springs and take half the men. I'll stay here with the other half and keep guard like before. How's that? A good idea. Pete, Sims, Al. You and the other fellas I deputize myself stay here. The rest of you go with the sheriff. All right, All right those of you coming with me, get mounted. I look after things here, Sheriff. Don't you worry. And if you find out that crook ain't headed this way, send me word. Yeah. Come on, man. Get up. Get up. You aren't going to leave my bank unguarded, are you? Sure not, Mr. Lovejoy. Hey, come on, boys. We're going inside the bank. Go on in, Mr. Lovejoy. Yes. You won't disturb the customers, will you? Oh, sure not. Hey, step inside, fellas. Don't be bashful. There, now. I reckon we got everything in hand, all right. You... You think it is just a trick of the Black Caballero to get the sheriff out of White Springs? You you don't really expect him here. Sure, I expect him. Why, but you... <laughs> Fact is, here he comes now. Uh, who's that one? <laughs> Black Caballero. <laughs> Everything is well, my friend. <laughs> Couldn't be better, boss. Boss? You're a deputy. Arrest this man. Don't stand there. Arrest him, I say. <laughs> Arrest him? Why should I? <laughs> you customers needn't get excited. Just don't start nothing. You won't get hurt. Like I was saying, Mr. Lovejoy, why should I arrest the Black Caballero? I'm working for him, ain't I? You, you <laughs> And you've done splendidly, Blaze. Have your men collect the cash. Sure. Get to it, Al. But I don't understand. You're a deputy. The sheriff left you and these men here to protect my bank. And now you're... It was all just a part of the Black Caballero scheme, Mr. Lovejoy. But you can't... And it was a blame slick one. When I told the sheriff I was going to jeopardize some fellas to keep guard here, I just seen to it that half of them was fellas that'd do like the boss said. You rotten crook. <laughs> then it was fixed for the boss's regular gang to start trouble at White Springs so the sheriff would go hightailing back there, leaving me and the boys I picked out to stay here. <laughs> Who'd ever figure the very fellas hired to guard the bank would be the ones planning to hold it up? Nobody. Not even the Lone Ranger. <laughs> You mentioned me? But, hello, you! Me. What in places? We're right with you, mister. 
How did you know I was here? I didn't until we got here and started investigating. By heaven's boss, I'll take that gun. The rest of you. Make a move for your weapons and you'll regret it. Sheriff, listen. Shut listen up, you dirty double-crosser. Taking the county's pay for upholding the law, then selling out to a crook. <laughs> he didn't sell out cheaply, Sheriff. You can say that much for him. I paid him a good price. Yeah, and you. The black caballero, huh? If a masked puller hadn't stopped me on the edge of town and made us come back with him, you'd have got away with this. One can't win all the time. Take off that mask. Let's see who you are. <laughs> there. You know me? Mm, never seen you before. A new Lone Ranger. You beat me after all. I'm wondering just why my plan failed. It seemed foolproof. You made one mistake. And that, my friend? You forgot that every man acts in character. Every crime you'd committed revealed that you not only didn't fear danger, but actually welcomed it. And yet you expected me to believe that your promise to hold up this bank was just a trick to allow you to raid White Springs in safety. And yet you couldn't be sure. No, but I made sure when I came into town. Tano and I were hidden nearby from the time the sheriff rode away. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you pointed out my mistake. I shall remember not to make it again when we meet in the future. You think we shall? <laughs> I'm sure of it. The jail has never been built that can hold me. Lone Ranger, one of these days we're going to face each other again. We shall see. Come, Tonto. Uh, you talk big, Mr. Black Caballero. But if you got the notion my jail can't hold you, you're loco. <laughs> you heard what the Lone Ranger said, didn't you, Sherry? Huh? He was quite correct. We shall see. Come on, Silver, old fellow. The Black Caballero has broken jail. We'll meet him again. Hello, Silver. How are you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.